Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Javi de MacNajavi.com. Esto es English Listening. Hoy es 4 de julio de 2014 y el 4 de julio en Estados Unidos celebran el día de su independencia. Así que, feliz día de la independencia si eres estadounidense. Y en cualquier caso, Mike ahora mismo nos va a hablar sobre este día tan especial para ellos. Adelante. Hello and welcome back to English Listening. I'm Mike from MikeAndHobby.com. Today is July 4th here in the United States, and that means it is a very special national holiday. That holiday being Independence Day. Now, Independence Day goes all the way back to the year 1776, when the Second Continental Congress, which was in charge of the original 13 colonies here in what has become the United States, decided that they would vote to declare independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. I thought that it would be nice if I told you a little bit about what we do here on Independence Day in the United States. Now, Independence Day is uh, synonymous with barbecue and with fireworks and with picnics, and with family gatherings, and with concerts, and with baseball games. These are all things that we do on the 4th of July each year. Now, it's probably most common to go out at 7 or 8 o'clock at night on Independence Day and watch some fireworks go off. And um, there are some people who even will set off fireworks in the streets. Now, it's very interesting that they do that because many, many states, including the state that I live in, which is the state of Ohio, actually prohibit you from using or buying fireworks. Yet everybody seems to have them. And when I was growing up, all of my neighbors had fireworks. In fact, it was not uncommon for people in the neighborhood to go to a state that was nearby, such as Pennsylvania, where it is legal to actually purchase fireworks, and to go there and to buy fireworks and to bring them back. That was a very common practice, and it's kind of still common, I think. I think the laws have subtly changed when it comes to fireworks. But um, it seems like everybody has them, and it seems like there's, there's always people setting them off in the streets. Yet it is illegal. Now, you can have sparklers, you can have um, party poppers, and, uh, you know, basic uh, harmless fireworks. Um, it is a day of eating food, just like Christmas and Thanksgiving. It's just that the type of food is, uh, is, is different. It's, we, we don't tend to eat turkey like we do on Christmas and on Thanksgiving. Instead, we eat ribs, we eat uh, hamburgers, and we eat hot dogs or brats or something like that. Now, I've always enjoyed Independence Day because it's always been a day where you can kind of just hang out and relax at night and take in the view of the beautiful, colorful, explosive fireworks. And um, I have very fond memories um, throughout my entire childhood of uh, sitting out in the car and um, out in the parking lots and near the areas where the fields where they would, uh, the city would be um, doing a uh, fireworks demonstration. And you could just sit out there and just listen to the radio and, and take in the view. It was a real good time and it's very nostalgic every time that I go to see a, a fireworks uh, performance or demonstration. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about Independence Day. Um, it's, it's a day of family, it's a day of celebration, it's a day of picnics and barbecues. I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Muy bien, pues vamos con las preguntas. ¿Cuándo declaró su independencia a Estados Unidos? Segunda. ¿Cuál fue el órgano que declaró la independencia del, sobre el reino de la Gran Bretaña? Tercera pregunta. ¿Puedes nombrar algunas cosas que los estadounidenses hacen en el día de su independencia? Cuarta cosa, cuarta pregunta. ¿Son legales los fuegos artificiales en Ohio? Y quinta y última pregunta. 
¿Qué suelen comer eh, los estadounidenses en el día de su independencia? Muy bien, pues las respuestas a estas preguntas, como siempre, están justo debajo de este vídeo, eh, en inglés. Y, por cierto, tienes también disponible un espacio de comentarios para que puedas hacernos llegar tus impresiones o sugerencias para nuevos vídeos. Igualmente, si te ha gustado este vídeo, nos ayudará a que marques eh, la figura del dedo pulgar hacia arriba. También te invito a suscribirte a nuestro canal si quieres recibir semanalmente nuestros nuevos vídeos. Y bueno, te recuerdo que en mikeandjavi.com tienes todos los vídeos de inglés, también los de castellano, y también algunos recursos para el aprendizaje de idiomas y algunas notas textuales de nuestro blog. Nada más, muchas gracias, hasta la próxima.